Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. I'm Bumi and today we are watching Casually Explained Levels of Wealth by Casually Explained. Yes, um, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. I am interested in this though because uh, I don't know how, how we're gonna go about this video. By that I mean what's gonna happen in the video that we're gonna watch. But uh, yeah, I'm, this is something that that intrigued me because bec all because of the mystery of i don't know what's gonna happen in this video aside from like a direct funny and a bit sarcastic explanation of the different levels of wealth yeah i, I wasn't really good at my economics class so mm. <laughs> i have no knowledge about this little to none but yeah i'm excited to check this out regardless it's just a short video that we can watch so yeah, remember, if you like my reactions, don't forget to leave a like, let me know your thoughts on the video down in the comment section below, and consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to leave your suggestions of what I should check out next. That being said, let's go ahead and watch the video. When we think of money, it's usually in terms of what things we can buy with it. But your level of wealth yep. doesn't only determine what you own, it can determine entirely what your life looks like. And I wanted to give a bit of an overview of what that could look like at some different intervals. All right. Now, at Let's the bottom go. of the pyramid, of course, we have the alcoholic, amphetamine-abusing lowlife who mooch <laughs> off public services because they can't pay their debts or find a job. <laughs> Fucking grad students. Grad students. Disgusting. <laughs> Next, we have the working and middle class, which makes up oh, about 90% man. of the population. Even though it might seem like they can't accomplish much compared to the elites of society, members of the middle class can work together to become much more powerful. Yeah. As an example, with one roommate, they can afford rent, but with two, they can afford furniture. <laughs> the middle class earns up to 300000 a year, oh. but the median individual income is a lot more modest at People are earning that much? It's really pretty Damn. misleading, though, because if you're 50 with a wife and two kids, 38 k a year is pretty rough. But if you're yeah. 21 and single, you're buying resale Yeezys thinking, man, I wonder how much sex I'd have if I didn't live with my parents. So in conjunction, <laughs> I think there are a couple lifestyle indicators to check oh, to see man. if you're in the middle class, such as yeah, I am your in grandparents middle class. had five kids, your parents had three kids, and you're going to put a stop to it once and for all. Yep. And you don't yep. have an emergency. I, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to have kids. Not that I don't want them. It's just that I don't have someone to have them with. Sad. Sad boy fund because you figure that if you're on vacation your appendix gives out why would you spend 20k on surgery when you could just die so <laughs> yep. middle class we get i am on that stage if i ever get like <laughs> a life-threatening thing done i'm i'm just gonna die i am not gonna have my family pick up my debt especially like medical bills get to the start of your truly wealthy people these are notorious 1% who typically have Ooh, an individual the one income of 300000 or higher or a net worth of over $8 million. Usually this means you have more than one home, active investments, travel whenever you want, and basically mm -hmm. have the best of everything short of private jets and a Battlefront 2 season pass. But in the same way someone in the arts might wave their fist at an accomplished engineer, there's a huge difference between people <laughs> within the 1%. As an example, if you're worth $75 million, you have the ability to see almost anyone in the world just by asking. But if you're worth $75 billion, you have the ability to see almost anyone in the world without asking. <laughs> Once you're worth over $100 million, people use your first uh, and last name when they talk about you. And if you're not famous, you at least have a Wikipedia page that you didn't make yourself. <laughs> you likely make up to $10 million a year. No, that happen. was edited. That was edited, right? Yeah, the, <laughs> the, font, uh, the font is different. He made this up. You at least have a Wikipedia page that you didn't make uh. yourself. You likely make up to 10 million a year, which to compare with a more normal income is like going to Costco and paying $1.50 for a hot dog, but getting 100 hot dogs. <laughs> I don't know why I left that in. Um, at this point, your wealth is almost magnetic to more wealth, and ironically, things start costing less. I could pay $5,000 for a Gucci suit, and people might think I'm cool, but if I were actually cool, Gucci would have paid me to wear it. While that yeah. sounds pretty great, sure. you might start to wonder if people like you for you, or only like you because you're rich and famous. Fortunately, though, you are rich and famous. So finally, at the very top of the pyramid, we have the people worth over a billion dollars, the 0 0.001%. 0 .001. Guys like Elon, Jeff, Branson, and Bill. These people have so much money, they can literally change the world. Save yeah. the kids, done. Create your own space program, done. Dinner with the president, 
you are the president. You don't fly business, you buy the business. When you get pet supplies from Amazon, you mean the rainforest. And when you say, hey, babe, how about I drive this time? Oh, You're talking man. to the car. If you yeah. look at the absolute yeah. top, Jeff Bezos recently overtook Bill Gates. And to be as rich as the two of them, you would have to earn about $5,000 every minute you were alive. They even said themselves, Damn. I don't think I could even spend the money if I tried. Well. Fucking amateurs. Now, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you give me the money, I will blow it out of the water. I could think of a hundred different things. Shit, a million different things to spend all that money. The pyramid capped off, if we step back, it does seem like the implication here is that your life gets better the more money you have, which brings about the age-old question of does money buy you happiness? Yes. And from what I've looked at, I think the best explanation is that money won't buy you happiness, but it can make problems go away that make you unhappy. Like when you go to take money out of your bank account and get charged a fee because there's no oh, money in your man. bank account. When you buy tickets online, you have to pay extra for doing all the work yourself. Yeah. With that said, I wanted to end it at that point, but I showed my friend and she said, is that it? Is it just first world countries? What about the rest of the world? And, yeah. you know, like they say, you, you can't make your sneakers and wear them too. Um, <laughs> The good news is that my demographics show too. that there aren't many people in third world countries watching my videos. Yeah, that, that's that's a good point. I mean, that's a fairly good point. <sighs> that, that, that's a good point. Have internet. So um, we'll worry about that another time. Well, I'm here. I'm from a third world country and I'm watching. Um, as a quick side note, if you want to get an audio version of What's any this? of my videos, you can oh, go okay. to the CastBox app or website and subscribe. It's it's funny. <laughs> like, the grad student isn't even the bottom of the pyramid. There's still us here and the rest of the world. It is funny, though. I still say that people who, who say that money can buy you happiness probably has not lived that poor person's life shit. If I have that ton of money, I will never be unhappy again. Like I said, I can think of a million ways on how to spend that much money. That would almost always make me happy. You know what they say, the best cure of depression is a million bucks. <laughs> oh yeah. What do you think, guys? Do you think money buys happiness? Let me know down in the comments. But that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Link to my Twitter is down in the description below. Go ahead and check it out if you want to. And if you're new here and enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on the video down in the comment section below and consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to leave your suggestions on what I should check out next. That being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye. I'm sorry for the puppy.